was one of the after parties. We were trying to mix drinks and you came over with some gamer socks. She climbed into my lap and instead of giving me the cup, she's just like pouring it in my mouth for me. She poured it a little too fast and it got all over me because she was in my lap. She's like, here, wipe your face. And the only thing in front of my face was her booty. <laughs> First day, we were able to see all of our cardboard cutouts. I sent this photo, or at least a photo of my standee to my parents, and my dad said, I want to buy one, how much? <laughs> yeah, there was a big blow up chibi. She was there for like the raves and everything, and th with the lighting, it was just so fun funny to see this massive chibi balloon while everybody <laughs> was going ham on the dance floor. The cosplayer that I had been talking about for the past week, we found her, boys. There she is. She's so beautiful. She did such a good job. Oh yeah, that's me, by the way. That's my Buet cosplay. There, there you go. There's the sub goal, the or the bit, or the bit goal. The goal that we had. You and thank you for signing that's... the cosplay. <gasps> it's you! You're so adorable. It was so nice to meet you. <laughs> I have the photo of Red in the major. <laughs> Look at them all. <laughs> this was the other half of the bit goal that you guys absolutely smashed. And it just so happened that we were talking to all the business people on the day that Red was looking like that. <laughs> My fucking manager and a goddamn man dress. There's also this really funny um, video that Numi took of the crowd right after her meet and greet, like when it was ending. And in the last frame, you can see Red just standing there in the fucking man dress. <laughs> Fifi, she got us our own private theater. So all the VTubers had their own room to watch the movie together. And Fifi got an email after the movie. And the email reads, Hello, Fifi. Thank you for choosing our theater for your business event. I hope everything was to your liking and your clients had an enjoyable evening. My staff really enjoyed your clients. All morning, they've been laughing about the sexual noises when Bowser was on screen. Hope you'll use us again. <laughs> Before I left to go to Texas, my mom says, oh my God, you have to go to Bucky's while you're there. They have like the nicest bathrooms. I'm like, huh? Why would I want to go there? <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Bucky's is a gas station. They've got everything you can imagine. There's a shit ton of Bucky's merch. So we got the bathrooms, right? There's artwork hanging on the walls for sale, like a goddamn art gallery. All the stalls are huge. Damn, I don't gotta go right now, but I kind of just want to go. <laughs> I headed back to the Ulu land because I wanted to check it out. I wanted to see what the full displays look like, but that's when I got stopped by people very suddenly. So I was like, um, guys, let me head out. Let me go get changed in cosplay. And I got changed in Buet. There it is with me in the Cinder cosplayer. And Red was like, oh, let me take a picture of you so you can tweet it so that people know that you're going to be this at the convention. And I said, I don't know because it's not my official meet and greet and I don't want there to be too many people. And he was like, no, it'll be fine. And I said, you know what? I think you're right. So I tweeted it. Yeah, um, I think I was standing there for three hours. The line was absolutely insane. I was like hot and I was in cosplay and I was in heels just like standing there the whole time. Red was like, hey, um, let me know when you want me to cut the line. And I said, whoever is there now, let them come see me and then just, just cut the line so I can get through whoever's still in the line. But I, I think there was miscommunication. So I just kind of walked away. <laughs> and then Numi came up to me and she was like, hey, we're going to be uh, going to round one later. Are you coming? And I was like, um, yeah, but uh, I, I thought my line was getting cut, but it literally hasn't gone down at all. Numi was like, oh, let me tell Shocks. And then I think she got busy or distracted. And then Jeremy comes over. <laughs> Jeremy's like, hey, are you doing OK? Like, you've been here for a while. And I'm like, Jeremy. I've been standing here for so long, but there's still so many people and I'm so fucking tired. Can you please help me? And he was like, I got you. And I didn't want to cut the line. I was just like, my body was under so much stress. But um, thank you guys for being so chill and understanding. It's rain! Rain. <laughs> I don't know if you remember. It was one of the after parties. We were trying to mix drinks and you came over with some gamer socks. <laughs> she climbed into my lap and instead of giving me the cup, she's just like pouring it in my mouth for me. <laughs> she poured it a little too fast <laughs> and it got all over me because she was in my lap. She's like, here, wipe your face. And the only thing in front of my face was her booty. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I really hope Rain and I can get closer during this convention. <laughs> we got close, all right. <laughs>
uh, Numi got up on stage on the second party. I remember Joel was sitting next to me and I looked at him and I'm like, that's her friend! <laughs> I was so excited. There was the last song and the whole crowd was like, encore, encore. And so the DJ played one last song and Numi, Numi like dragged me. She's like, come on, we're all gonna get up on stage and dance. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> me? <laughs> Y'all want me white girl dancing up on stage? <laughs> Hold on, maybe I can recreate this. Wait a minute. I was like, Step. It's like that. It's like that. This is my dance. Saturday night, we went to Waffle House. It was my first time at a Waffle House. We all got takeout. Yeah, it was unironically bussin'. And it was takeout. So, um, another example of what not to do, if you see VTubers. We went back to the hotel and we sat at this big table and we ate our Waffle House. And an ambulance fucking pulls up. And well, we don't know what's going on, but we're not about to stick our nose in business. And there are these two random guys that walk up to our table and he's like, do, do you guys know what's going on out there? And we're, and Shox is like, nope, we don't know. And he's like, you mind if we uh, we just hang out with you guys? And Shox is like, no, you can leave. <laughs> and Shox was just like, give us some space. Like, we're just trying to eat our Waffle House. Like, we're tired from the party. We're hungry. Yeah, they definitely knew who we were. Yeah, don't interrupt Shox's waffle time. <laughs> At the time you were choking on your waffle duality of managers. <laughs> who would win? Tough, strong, scary, Bodyguard or little waffle boy. <laughs> oh, the panels with Numi and Tricky and Bao and Yuzu and Vienna. They had a little QA and I was able to go up there and ask a question. <laughs> I was like, who's the biggest bottom? <laughs> and then I just fing ran. I wanted them to fight. <laughs> The VTubers touch weird things panel. I was a part of that. The box was covered and there were two holes on the sides for me to put my hands in. And then the front of the box was all cut out so the audience could see. When my eyes were closed and the audience was reacting to my object, I was very concerned because they were all like, oh, and I'm like, oh, what is it? And I stick my hands in the box and it's like soft. I'm like, oh, a plushie? And then I feel these like spikes. I'm like, to Bowser? And they're like, yes. <laughs> I haven't talked about Six Flags yet. Yeah, it was the Superman ride where Bao fought a child. There was a child strapped into the seat on the ride ahead of us. Bao was like kind of nervous and the kid was just kind of like teasing her about it and like egging her on. And then yeah, Bao started Fortnite dancing and the kid was like, what's that? <laughs> Bao fucking died that day. <laughs> I went on the pandemonium and that's the one that spins around a lot and there's four in a cart. There's two on each side and you're kind of just like looking at each other. I was sitting next to Numi and I was also on the ride with Camila and Red, I think. And we're moving around a lot and our hands are up and Numi and I are living it up. And Camila's like, Cinder, I'm sorry. I'm just looking at your tits because they keep bouncing around. <laughs> And the shirt I was wearing, it was a V-neck, but I could zip it up and down to control the amount of cleavage. And uh, I forgot to zip up my shirt. <laughs> Camila was like a wooga. <laughs> it was one of the most enjoyable conventions I've been to in so long. And definitely that has been one of the biggest and coolest VTuber events at a con ever.